Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, uh, I hope you enjoyed the yesterday's video, audio, sorry. And today's audio is about going general, which actually I have, and maybe you have too, heard it many times go general, not specific. But in this audio, if you listen to it very carefully, it, it talks a lot about like, you know, how to do it and you can do it within a week. I'm going to give it a try for sure. And you got to keep playing the game. got to keep playing the game. I hope you enjoyed this one. And let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching my audios. Have a great day. Enjoy and chill. You brought up this really interesting point <clears throat> about uh, what Esther had to do with the restaurant, with the placemat. And as I went up to my room during the break, I was thinking about it and I thought to myself, if I let the universe take care of what I'd like it to take care of, what was on that list? Was it specific? Was it general? Well, it was specific because you carved it out. You have to realize that through the experience of life of knowing what you don't want and knowing what you do want you have very specifically put the characteristics of what you want into the vortex and the larger part of you has not only been aware of them but has been the vibrational equivalent of them ever since you put them there and every time you have a new experience which causes you to amend it a little bit to change it or expand it a little bit because as you move through life you do that all the time the inner being part of you keeps up with it so you created it specifically and it stands with such specificity that it stands there really specific it does it stands right. there it stands there in that perfection that you have assigned and so now your only work is to allow the perfection that you've assigned to flow into your experience at the perfect moment in time and that's why we said earlier right. when you feel impatience it means you're not allowing it even though it's ready for you you're not ready for it and if something that you're ready for comes before you're ready for it it just bounces off of you right somebody else doesn't walk away with it but you don't get it right. so the being the allowing myself to be okay with not being ready for something is where I'm gonna let the universe take care oh, of everything that's really for what me. we want for all of you we want you to just chill out that's why we say things to you like you never get it done and you can't get it wrong that's why we just said to you do you think that you're ever going to accomplish a vibrational grid that's gonna serve you for the no, rest of, of your life not. it's moment by moment by moment that's the fun of all of it it would be like being a, a wonderful athlete let's say a tennis player really enjoying the game who wins all of the top honors and then says no point in ever playing again and we say really right. we thought you were playing because you liked the agility that your body discovered we thought you liked to play because you liked the clarity and the and the strength of your body we thought you liked it every time you put that ball right where you meant to put it we thought you liked the intuitive feeling that you had when you anticipated where the ball was going and you were there to meet it <laughs> even when that other guy is so good that he usually surprises people we thought you liked the game are you saying you only like the trophy you see and you all came for the game that and the game the never ends you see you got to keep playing you got to keep playing and you got to keep winning but you got to keep playing because there's always another game and another game and another game and another game every moment there's another game there's another point of clarity there's another opportunity to uplift there's another opportunity to have way more fun than you've ever had before that grid is just ripe the vortex is ripe with whatever the grid is ready to allow you see your work is to prepare the grid your work is to be ready for what's ready it's ready the question is are you are you ready and if you're having fun you're ready right. if you're chilling you're ready if you're happy you're ready if you're flowing with enthusiasm you're ready if you're ornery you're not ready for what's in the grid you want you're ready for what's in those other grids so does that mean that I don't know what I want or is that I just have to allow it oh we think you know because negative emotion always means you put something there that you're not allowing you can never not know we can pronounce you that you're not ever again 
gonna not know right. you always know you might deny you might deny that you know or you might resent that you have to hold the vibration Esther says that to us every now and again oh, really I liked it better before I knew so much <laughs> I feel so responsible and we say then you're not ready feeling of responsibility is not being ready I feel responsible to my point of attraction what am I doing wrong you're feeling responsible and self-critical you can't allow what's in your vortex if you're self-critical well what do I do how do I learn how do I be smarter by going general I understand the laws of the universe I believe that I offer a point of attraction I accept that I've lived a lot of life and that I've put it there I know enough from what I've heard and felt from Abraham to know that these laws are substantial and consistent I don't want to ask to be the exception in the universe I can go with the flow of the laws I can do that I want to be happy I want to be happy and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to be happy I'm willing to stop being responsible if it's necessary to being happy now that's interesting oh I'm no longer gonna be responsible my children will starve <laughs> too specific too specific I'm not going to take on more than is mine to take on I'm not gonna to try to control the world I'm not gonna to try to control what others are thinking or doing lighter 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 I'm gonna trust that they all have an inner being I'm gonna trust that they will find their way I'm gonna look for my way and trust that others will find theirs lighter 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 but what if they don't know what to do negative emotion too specific go general mm, go general well they'll figure it out everybody's not ready for this leading edge conversation and what they're ready for the universe will deliver to them they'll be fine a lot of people wouldn't be happy knowing what I'm talking about here today it's too leading edge for them they're not comfortable with this leading edge conversation they're ready for what they're ready for and they have an inner being who adores them who has their back and all kinds of non-physical energies that are focused with them they're gonna be just fine they're gonna figure it out we're all gonna figure it out we get to play together those of us who were ready for one another will come together as cooperative components in each other's experience and we'll have a really wonderful time together we're not supposed to ever get it all figured out there's always more to figure out more 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 I'm gonna use my point of attention right here and now my point of power which is where me and me converge it's where the non-physical inner being me and the physically focused me is where we converge I'm gonna converge right here in this now moment and I'm going to feel good while I do it I'm gonna feel good so then you turn on the television and there's something troubling turn it off right. you keep thinking about it change the subject in your mind somebody calls you it's upsetting hang, hang up. up as you keep thinking about it you're still upset change the subject in other words just keep reminding yourself I'm going to tend to my point of attraction which mostly means I'm gonna mind my own business which mostly means I'm gonna do my best to feel good as best as I can and I'm getting better and better and better and better and better at this Thing that's interesting is that you all have big lives and the bigger your life is the more components you have sometimes you feel like you have too many moving parts there's too much for you can to control but there's not too much for law of attraction to manage and all you have to do is look among the moving parts pick a target that feels good to you focus upon it until you've established it as your set point lock in lock into it lock into it and maintain it and then law of attraction will give you feedback to let you know how well you've done you say but in the locking into it it's by letting it uh, by allowing it right by letting it come to you by locking into it we mean focus upon it until you feel the relief right. let's add this to it this is really good find the general place and lock into it find the general place and Feeling. lock into it till it's boring then find a more specific place and play around with it until it feels really good then lock into it until it feels boring and then feel around and find the place until it feels good and then lock into it we can offer examples and we will offer examples of that as we're moving forward yeah. so that's where the you, you use this term earlier vibrational altitude and I thought that was really interesting especially coming into the concept of the physical arena and playing the game like you were just talking about you and referenced limitation. that earlier yeah <laughs> um, the vibrational altitude is when you can hold it's when you shift and hold and when you know it's not right you shift and hold
right? It's just a process. I think process. that's a good picture. Okay. And we would call it vibrational awareness. You see, because most humans offer most of their vibration. And so their point of attraction is mostly caused by what they are observing. And since they are using their visual sense and auditory sense, in other words, you're using your physical senses to observe, you're observing all kinds of different vibrational things. You're watching things on television or reading things in, in your newspapers. So you are locking onto things because they're around you to see, not being very um, picky or selective. It's just there to see, so you see it. But when you begin to explore what's in your vortex, where it hasn't manifested yet, so there's no manifested car to see in your garage or no manifested lover to find in your bed is a vibrational version of it. Then sometimes since it's easier to just observe than it is to subtly interpret the vibration, you just observe, which means you hold yourself in a mixed vibration. I like that. I don't like that. I want that. I don't want that. And so, so your point of attraction is scattered and bringing you more of all of that. Right. Once you decide that you're going to explore the subtle vibrations, which means you have to feel your way there. You can't just observe. Then what happens is you think and feel and think and feel and think and feel. You have to be aware. Esther would say to Jerry, as they were driving, sometimes she would say, I don't know what I was thinking about, but I don't feel good. And it'd say, well, what conversation were you having in your mind? And sometimes it would take her a little while to trace herself back to what it was that was bothering her. But there always is a vibrational root. And every time you are bothered by something, it always means the same thing. It means that what you've got active, which means something you're thinking about is a different opinion than your inner being who has an opinion on the same subject. Yeah. And if you can just remember that, but Think about it. We just had this conversation a minute ago. It's really, really the next leading edge conversation that we're going to have in all of this. Your inner being is always more general. Ooh, you're the specific part of it. So your inner being is always more general. Now stay there with us. You, you like that? Are you feeling the relief mm -hmm. of that? Yeah. Your inner being is more general. Your inner being is focused upon what you want in a more general place. So you can always go back to that more central, more centered, more stable, more sure place, and then reach forward to be more specific again. And you can tell by the way you feel, whether you're feeling your way in the direction of what you want. And then once the momentum starts happening, suddenly you come out of what feels like darkness because you're not using your eyes when you're feeling emotionally. And suddenly it all lights up and you know exactly what to do. You see it, the idea flows to you as clearly as it did in your dream when you were flying. Right. And that happened once you've established your vibration that happened in the moment that you found a way to stop offering the static resistance got it so vibrational trust fall so let's right? so let's that's, that's so, how I, how so I, let's I, apply an old analogy that we've used for a long time because it fits here pure positive energy is like the cork up there floating on the surface of the water hold it under the water that's what resistance is but when you let go it will float right back up again so when you stop doing that thing, so don't try too hard. That's really what we're getting at. You're working too hard. And that's why we're trying to get you to go general. As you go general, you work less hard. You find that vibrational place. Friends, we're out here on the leading edge of this and we're going to stay here and go beyond where we are. But if you will let this week be the opportunity to use your power of general deliberately and then enjoy the specifics that fill in by the time you get off this ship you'll have this you will that's all i needed to hear yeah thank yeah. you <laughs>